threats and the fasteners. Let's understand the terminology, define and label the different parts of a screw's thread, identify the different fasteners, and use a CATIA catalog to create the fasteners. There are threaded fasteners and non-threaded fasteners. Make sure you understand the difference. They are used to hold the parts together and pull out quickly and easily. Threaded features can be obtained from the thread callout. General fasteners are not drawn in the detailed drawing, but the purchasing information must be given in the bill of material so that they can be ordered. External thread cut on the outside of a cylindrical body. Internal thread cut on the inside of a cylindrical body. Right hand thread will assemble when turned clockwise. Left hand thread will assemble when turned counterclockwise. Sometimes you could have both. There are also crest, root, and thread angle you want to understand. Major diameter is the largest diameter on internal or external thread. Minor diameter is the smallest diameter. Pitch is the distance between crest of the thread, which is normally not given, you have to do the calculation. To an external thread, you want to determine the size of the cylinder, which is a major diameter. Continue use a die to remove the material. To the internal thread, you want to select the size of the drill bit to drill the hole, which is a minor diameter. Continue to use a tap to remove the material to determine the thread diameter, which is always larger than the size of the hole. Bolt is a threaded cylinder with a head. You insert a bolt into a hole, and then on the other side, you insert a washer, screw a nut. Read a thread note. First is a major diameter. There are 10 threads per inch. Coarse thread series. Class 2 fit. External thread. Pitch is determined by 10. 1 over 10 is the pitch. Thread series. There are coarse thread series UNC or NC. Fine thread series UNF, NF. Extra fine thread series UNEF or NEF. Classes of fits, there are class 1, loose fit, class 2, standard fit for the mass production, class 3 has a stricter standards for fit and tolerance, usually used in the aerospace and aircraft industry. Read this call out. First line represents the information of the hole, second line represents the information of the threads. The size of the hole is always larger than the size of the thread. The length of the hole can be different from the length of the thread. Watch this animation to see how to determine a threaded hole. You must determine the size of the hole first, and then determine the length of the hole. Continue to determine the thread. A represent external thread, B represent the internal thread. Let's do an exercise. Identify the left-handed threads. The correct answer is A and D. That's because of the LH labeled here. Remember, by default, you always have the right-handed thread. Identify the threads that can be used for aircraft. The answer is D, which is because of the number 3, which represents a more stricter fit. Now identify the thread that is designed to be taken apart quickly and easily, which is B, because of the number 1. Loose fit. Identify the internal threads, which are C and D, because of the letter B. To the metric system, you always start with the letter M followed by the major diameter and the pitch. Let's take a look at some examples. First is a metric system. Major diameter, pitch, length, drive type, head type, material, and the fastener type. In the English system, you describe the major diameter, thread form, length, head type, fastener type. 
If you want to know more information about the fasteners, please take a look at the general information sheet on Canvas. To study the fastener information, including the drive type, hat type, and the different type of the fasteners. Let's see how to create a thread catalog in Katia. First, we download the file from Canvas. Save this zip file and then extract all to extract the files. In this folder, we can see the two given files, Katia part file and the drawing file. We're going to rename the files first. Open the part file, right click the name from the tray to update the part name to be consistent with the file name. Now we can create the additional feature on this part, which is a threaded hole. We're going to expand the part body. We're going to check the unit, make sure it is inch. We're going to pre-select the two edges, vertical and horizontal, to define the location of the hole. Click the hole icon to open the definition window. The size of the hole it is uh, determined from the given callout. It is a threaded hole. Make sure you check the box. Threaded diameter, again, which is, can be obtained from the given file. In this file, you can see a table. Because the size is less than a quarter inch, number 10 refers to a major diameter as 0.19. So the thread diameter is 0.19. The whole diameter is defined previously. The thread depth is equivalent to the whole depth here. The pitch is determined from the thread callout. 1 over 20, which is the pitch. Continue to define the exact location of the hole. Double click the number. To open the definition window, you can update the value. Exit workbench. Click OK. Control S to save the work. Now we are going to open the drawing file. Because we renamed the file, this time if you open the drawing file, you possibly going to see an error message which indicate the missing file. You want to click the desk and then right click the missing file. Use a find to locate the missing file so this missing file can be relinked to the drawing file. After you relink the file, you can click the update all to update the work. Now we are ready to edit the drawing. First, we are going to add the thread callout by using the text with a leader. The text with a leader is going to point to the hidden line, which is the thread feature. We're going to insert the diameter symbol first followed by the size of the hole, and then continue to define the depth of the hole. Insert the depth symbol and then the number. In the second line, you're going to have the thread callout. Make sure you keep the consistent font size in this exercise, we use a 2.0 millimeter. 
because this part is uh, symmetrical, so we added a center line and use a symmetry symbol to keep all the dimensions uh, on one side. Use a text icon to open the text editor window. Continue to look for the symmetry symbol. So you can add one symmetry symbol on top of the center line. Later, we're going to add one more on the bottom of the center line. Now we are going to work on the dimensions. First, I want to do this uh, top horizontal dimension. Look, because we want to have a horizontal dimension from the center line to the corner point, sometimes it's hard to catch this corner point. So what we can do is to activate that intersection point. So we can do the same point to point distance. Make sure you use the decimal inch to show the expression. This should be 0.25. Continue to use the dimension icon to add the vertical dimension. Before you do that, make sure you deactivate that intersection point because you do not need to add any points anymore. Make sure you have the other dimensions aligned vertically or horizontally as much as possible. Save the work. Finally, we're going to add one more symmetry symbol on the bottom. You can always uh, press down the shift key to accurately adjust the position. You can also press down the control key to adjust the size of the center line. You can use the print to print this drawing into a PDF file. You can continue to use the same file name for your PDF file. All three files are completed at this moment. Thanks for watching.